Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, this is a new prop day for the DJI Avada. If you buy the Avada, it comes stock with five bladed props on the bottom. Master Airscrew has just released the four bladed props and three bladed props. So now you're wondering, why would I want to change the props on my DJI drone? Well, in the FPV world, we change our props all the time. And by changing the props, you're gonna get different performance, especially in cornering or in race. So I've got my cell phone out here and I'm taking a look at the website and I'll show you over here what I'm looking at. So right now, the price of these props, they're selling them on the Master Airscrew website in blue or red, three bladed or four bladed for around $14.99 United States dollars. For both sets of props, they do make some claims. They say you will get top speed. In other words, you'll get 15% more speed with those props going from zero to 60. Also, you'll get 20% faster handling and responsive rates. And you'll even get 5% improved efficiency for longer flight time. And they're supposed to be quieter. And finally, since they come in colors of red and blue, I think those are the only colors anyways, they say it's improved visual sighting of the drone. Are those claims by Master Airscrew correct? I have no idea. Can I verify them and tell you that they're correct? No, I can't. Can anybody else? No, they can't. It's just basically based on how you fly, if you notice a difference or an increase in performance. I've been in the FPV hobby for a long time and I change my props often because there's some preferences I have. I'm one of these guys, I like a specific angle on my props for cornering, but I don't do a lot of racing anymore. If I did, I'd have two bladed props. That's what we used to use for racing. Straight line, a two bladed prop is perfect. And if you want a corner, a three blade of prop is really good and if you want that power to go zing straight up in the air you put on like a five blade of prop and you'll get all that power those were the days in my day of the fpv hobby and that's what we did with blades but nowadays prop blades are constructed of different materials than they were back in my day and they're all pretty good so i'm sure these master air screw props are pretty awesome so uh, let's go try them out so to try out the new master air screw props i am just going to take the avada leave the original five blade of props on fly it around so my tiny little goldfish brain with next to no memory can kind of remember what it feels like to fly this drone stock then i'll put on the four bladed props and then i'll put on the three bladed props and i'll just fly it around and i'll see if i can tell a difference i'll show you and tell you what i'm feeling while i'm flying it and you can take it from there here we go oh and one last thing i should mention the avada is probably the noisiest drone on the planet earth changing the props on this thing to four bladed or three bladed is not going to make it so quiet that it's like oh that's like music to my ears no this thing is freakingly noisy so in that regard i don't think we're going to see much performance but let's go fly ladies and gentlemen please do not adjust your set i'm updating the firmware on the avada just went to take off and it says hey your battery firmware is inconsistent we got update, so I'm waiting for that. All right, first up, we have the Avada down there, and I'm just gonna fly it like this. I don't have the goggles on or anything. I'm just gonna go up, and I'll just show you how noisy it is outside in the nice uh, winter cold air. Well, it's not really winter now, but do you hear how loud that is? <laughs> there it is. So that's the stock prop. Pretty noisy, but no issues with the stock props whatsoever. They look awesome. You know, very see-through blackish, but yeah, that's it. Okay, I've got the stock props on and we're gonna take it for a flight in manual mode. So let me just put it in manual mode. Oh, it's all screwed up again. Oh my God. Settings, control, remote control. Okay, can you see me here? Apparently my little uh, Avada just did a firmware update. So all the manual mode settings were lost. So I just had to reset them all inside the goggles and hopefully my manual mode works now. Let's give it a shot. Yes, I have manual mode. Good. This is the Avada in manual mode with stock props. So there we are. It's not a very fast FPV drone by any imagination. Uh, if you want a real FPV drone that's fast, obviously get yourself a real FPV drone that's fast. But for the Avada, it's pretty decent. There's my buddies uh, driving RC cars, I believe, down there. All right, so I'm just trying to get used to how good this is. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Possibly, you know, I've got a full battery, fully charged battery. I'm zooming back and forth, going as fast as I can and seeing how it works. And I'm just going through objects, down low, nice and slow. And then I'm gonna corner to the right. There's the cars and buzz their cars. 
it still does its normal um, you know acro modes and everything else it's pretty decent as I mentioned already the Avada is a very slow FPV drone but it's perfect for beginners to get in so you don't scare the heck out of yourself let's see how much control I have for going around me and not hitting the post or anything there we are. that's pretty good snow bank and let's come over and land by me Okay, we'll do a quick landing, change the props to the four bladed props. We're going to go from five blades to four blades. Bring her down. And uh, let's go change the props. Let's take the props off. Here we go. I hate doing this outside because these little screws are so tiny. Apparently that screwdriver was too powerful for these little screws and uh, I had a good chance of breaking the screws. So there we go. There's one. Now one thing DJI does really well with all its drones, since it makes all its drones for beginners, it uh, makes it simple to change props and to let beginners know which props go on which motors. So you see I'm taking props off. There's a little dot in the center to match up to the color on the motor. These are the DJI stock props. So I going to take two of those off and I'm going to check the master air screw and I bet you they have something similar. So on the master air screw props they didn't put a dot because the props are red so instead of putting a color on it all they did is they added more plastic to the ones that go on the motors with a dot. Hopefully that makes sense. So uh, when you take the props out of the bag you'll see there's, let me just find here, you'll see there's two different types. If you look right in the center one has a lot of plastic like a little lines on it and the other one doesn't. So the one with the lines is like the one with the dot. Oh and finally a lot of newbies. I've seen newbies put props on the Avada many times and they goof it up. All props for the Avada have these little little things on the bottom. They're little pegs. They have to fit in the holes. I've seen so many newbies put the props on and not get the pegs in the holes but then screw the prop on you'll get vibrations because your prop sits crooked if the pegs are not in the holes so make sure you get the pegs in the holes okay so we have the red props on they're four bladed they are the master air screw props i don't know here i'll hold it up to the light so you can see them can you see the red there we are i've got a gopro hat on showing you with that so four bladed we'll see how it flies and i'll see if it's a little bit less noisy i really can't tell out here there's a lot of noise around me so anyways we'll just fly it and see how she goes so let's take it up there we go i like the red the red looks really nice yeah red looks nice do i hear a difference in sound honestly i i can't tell you you'd have to just uh compare the videos All right, let's take this baby for a flight with the four bladed master air screw props on it. See if I notice a difference. I'm going to fly it in manual mode again. All right, here we go. Do I notice a difference yet? I don't notice any difference yet. <laughs> Let me bring it back. Let me just come over the field. These are four blades. Just seeing if I could tell any difference in the type of flying I'm doing. Hmm, so far, it seems pretty similar. I'm sure there's a difference, and I'm sure if I watch the videos back, I'm going to notice a difference. But honestly, right now, I can do these little sideways turds. I can do these normal little slow flips. And it balances itself out really nice. So, all good there. You know, my perception is it's a little faster. But that's hard for me to tell. You'd have to look at the videos. I was going full blast in the last video and full blast in this one. Keeping it low to ground, watch those posts. So four blades, four blades versus five blades. Let's go put on the three bladed props and see how they do. Let's back up, I'm a little too far back. Up. Whoa, don't hit the GoPro. Oh, we're down. All right, so that was the flight with the four bladed master air screw props. I honestly cannot tell a difference. That's because I would have to fly the stock props for a long time, but I'm sure there is a difference. It actually sounded a little quieter. <laughs> uh, was it a little bit more aggressive? I found it was pretty good in a straight line. You got some speed. Uh, what I wanted to jump up in the air and stuff like that, obviously four blades are not going to give you as much bite as five blades for that sort of thing. But overall, it seemed good, you know, freestyle, the little bit I did, everything else. It's very hard for me to tell what the differences are. So 
let's try the three blade. So for the three blade, I will use the blue color. I do have them in red as well, but I'll use blue so they stand out and look a little different than the red ones. Look at these props. Look at that. Look at the blade and the angle on them on the three blade. These are going to be pretty cool. I think these ones I'll be impressed with. I'm hoping anyways. Let's try these out. There we go. The three bladed blue props of Master Air Screw. Let's try them out. All right, we've got our blue props on and they look pretty stunning actually. I just love the size of the blades on them anyways. Uh, let's start this up and see if I put them on right then if it flies properly well, I guess I got them on right going up I do like the blue I do like the blue and if you're wondering are they quiet are they less noisy maybe a little you know you'd have to once again compare the different videos that I took of uh, all three props All right, so the three bladed props. I'm a little bit excited to try these ones because I do like three bladed props. And here we go, full blast. So right away, I can tell there's a bit more power. So the three blades are pretty decent. I'm liking these, yeah. All right, so these ones I do like. Matter of fact, they can probably get me into trouble because I'm not using the throttle as well as I usually usually do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, three blades seem pretty decent. Let's go over here. Nice little twirly thing and I'll do a slow uh, roll or a slow flip and come down to the ground. Yeah, okay. That wipeout you just saw right there in the goggles, that is the Avada. So the Avada from day one, DJI's never fixed it. It's designed for beginners, so like when real people that fly FPV drones use it, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna make it do all sorts of wonky things. It's gonna fall out of the sky like it did. It went back into normal mode. So let me just put it back into, uh, I'm gonna get some air and I'm gonna put it back into manual mode. This is something Avada owners who fly FPV drones for a living, this is what we live with. You get used to it after a while though. Come on, get my little sticks in there and I'm gonna go into manual mode. There we go. And let's see if she'll stay in manual mode this time. That's one thing I was hoping too. I was hoping that the props, uh, these new master air screw props, I was hoping they would fix the problem because yeah, the, the Avada has been sort of a disaster from day one because of that. It uh, is not reliable for a person who is a true FPV pilot to use it on a daily basis as a real FPV drone. Uh, too many issues with that. Oh, looks like somebody's out there to do something. What are they doing? Is that a plane? Is that a car? That is a plane. What is a... No, oh, it's a helicopter. That's a helicopter. A big one too. That shocks. All right, all right. I'll let him fly. <laughs> Drones and helicopters do not go well together. All right, so I will say out of the... Uh, props um, you know this is my unbiased opinion right now I would say the three bladed would be my favorite for sure so the five bladed stock props perfect for beginners you won't notice a difference if you change your props because you're a beginner and of course if you're someone who flies FPV it's got a little bit of experience you will notice a difference when you switch up to the three bladed props from the five bladed props the four bladed props I think it gives you a little bit of a tweaky difference but I'm not uh, convinced that there's a, a major difference I'm gonna bring it back before I ram into somebody or something because with these three blades because with these three bladed props on, I just feel like I've got way more speed and power just to do stuff. All right, let's bring her on back. Go up here, this way, this way, and over to me. And slow her down really fast. There's my landing pad. I'm bring her over here. Coming down. There I am. All right, so that was the flight of the Master Airscrew three bladed props, minor in blue. I actually like these props the best out of all the props I flew, and that includes the stock props that come with this, 
the four bladed ones and the three bladed so yeah if i have to pick ones uh the three bladed are my favorite links to these props and the four bladed ones as well are all below go check them out on the master air screw website and see if there's something you want to get for your avada makes the avada look pretty cool in blue too i like that all right guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions on the props or anything like that then uh, just post your uh, comments below and if I didn't already mention it, the props do come with a set of screws to put in. I didn't use the Master Air Screw screws. I used the, the original DJI ones. Um, I'll save the Master Air Screw ones just in case I lose some screws. So I'll save for later. But anyways, for now, I say thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Bye.